The narrative of Arthur Gordon Pym pits Poe's figure for the average white American northerner of the mid-19th century against the worst the ocean can throw at him. A storm nearly kills him. He escapes death at the hands of a mutineer. He survives shipwreck and starvation. Yet it is the middle paragraph of the middle chapter that Edgar Allan Poe masters what frustrated fellow 19th century author Nathaniel Hawthorne, the allegory. Riddled throughout the narrative of Arthur Gordon Pym are clues that tell us Pym's journey to the South Pole is an allegorical journey into the dangers of the Deep South, the Confederate States. Poe experts from around the globe have argued various readings of the novel, but it cannot be ignored, and in fact, we must examine why Poe would choose the middle paragraph of the middle chapter to terrorize his character with the following scene. As the mass of putrefaction slipped over the vessel's side into the water, the glare of phosphoric light with which it was surrounded plainly discovered to us seven or eight large sharks the clashing of whose horrible teeth as their prey was torn to pieces among them might have been heard at the distance of a mile. Sharks, then, are the centralized symbol of the narrative of Arthur Gordon Pym on his middle passage. But why? The history of the word shark gives us our answer. The Oxford English Dictionary cites the first use of the English word shark to have come from the mouths of crewmen under the founder of the triangular slave trade. Accounts from slavers aboard slave ships tell us that one of the most terrible and innovative ways captains kept the crew and slaves in line across that middle passage was luring sharks behind the ship at all times. For the sharks were so well fed by sickened bodies thrown overboard, such as Poe's Augustus, that a captain need only threaten to hang someone over the side to put the fear of a shark's jaws into them. Indeed, one such account states that a captain dangled a slave woman over the side of the ship and only retrieved half of her back. The slave trade and the Middle Passage abound with some of the most horrific events to have taken place in human history. While Poe may have been a master of gothic horror, he needn't have looked too far to find it. <laughs> 